probably just have, you know, I could easily finish a bottle by myself. That's no problem. Um, so probably have a bottle of wine, be in my studio, making music until, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm at a great stopping point. I don't ever like to, to stop myself in the creative process just because, you know, if you're on a roll, you don't want to, you don't want to stop that creativity. But if you're just sitting around, like trying to, you know, figure something out and it's like, one two a.m. That's probably when I'm like, all right, you know, it's time to hit the sheets. Before I would, I would be down and just stay up all night and just work on music all night. But after a while, you know, after so many five six a.m. studio sessions in my house, it's like, I mean, I get it. I'm at home. It doesn't matter. But you know, I still need some sleep because, you know, I gotta get up and work out in the morning. I'll, I don't like to mess up my morning schedule because I, I love to have that, that routine. So um, I try not to stay up too late. I would say 2 a.m. is the latest I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay up, honestly. Right now, at least. How was skydiving? Wow. Skydiving was... <sighs> it was incredible. It wasn't that scary at all, honestly. I feel like everybody, when they talk about think about skydiving it's always like oh my god skydiving i could never like oh it's so insane oh like what um don't get me wrong it's definitely wild and you definitely gotta have a little crazy in you to go up there because i got into this little plane it was like big enough for like 10 people and somehow we like squeezed like 15 grown men in there so it was like me my granddad one other guy that was jumping just like a normal guy and then it was like 10 or 11, like, army guys. Like, people that are in the army, like, that, that jump out of planes. For real. So, I was with the best. I felt perfectly fine and safe because I was with the Black Daggers. Shout out to the Black Daggers, by the way. They, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're incredible. Thank you guys for your service. Um, so, it was definitely a weird experience because... I'd never been in a plane before that was, you know, so small and with no chairs like that. We were just sitting on, like, a bench. And uh, I also realized that I'd never been in a plane before with the doors open. So that was new. And, um, you know, there's not really much to it but to just do it. So, you know, the doors popped open. I scooted to the edge. Took that leap of faith. And I was flying. It's literally in the air, like. Going wild. It's like, I can't even, like, really, like, it's hard to explain because. It's just, like, the only really, the, the only real feeling that I had was when I had left the plane. Like that, my first leap off the plane, it was like that classic roller coaster feeling of like my heart went all the way down into my stomach for that moment of, of that first jump being like, wow. I just literally jumped off a plane. And if I didn't have a parachute, I'd be heading straight down for my death right now. And the only thing that's really keeping me alive is this, this professional on my back that's got the only parachute. So, it's different, bro. So crazy. Like, I feel like I should have been more scared and more nervous, but I, I really wasn't. Like, like, leading up to the jump out of the plane, like, I was really just, like, I waited there for, like, three or four hours I was supposed to just pull up and go but I had just been sitting around so you would think that my feelings and everything would be building up inside me but I was just chilling like I was like man can we just can we jump already and it was a blast I would definitely go again would I date in Aries I would yeah I would date in Aries cause we're both on the same vibe you know the same wavelength but it's a lot of fire.
Namaste. Someone said, dude, why'd you leave Clubhouse? Um, I left Clubhouse. Um, we, you know, our views just didn't align. Um, you know, it just wasn't the right fit for either of us, but I'm very appreciative, you know, for everybody at the company, at Clubhouse, for their support and their love, um, you know, sorry we couldn't, you know, continue to work together, but it's all good, you know, got to make changes, you can't stay in one place forever, what's up, Duda, hope you're doing well, Duda, favorite song at the moment, mmm, Probably Seeing Green by Drake, Nikki, and Wayne. Wayne, Nikki, and Drake. Am I doing any shows in Miami soon? Um, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, honestly, probably at the moment I'm, I won't be, just because I'm about to release some music. So after I put some music out, some more music, then I'll definitely do some shows. What's my favorite thing to do in Miami? Definitely uh, go shopping and hit the beach and um, just soak up that Miami sun because there's, there's nothing like that heat. It's different. When I first started out in music, how was it for you? Um, oh, here we go. Here he is. Oh, shit. I'm on live. I didn't get stitches. I knew you were going to get one of those butterfly stitches. Well, they were like stitches or... Look at this guy. Dang. That's a gash. Bro, this gash is serious, bro. What did he say? What was his reaction when you took the towel off? Was he like, oh, shit. Nah, the girl was like, ah, it's superficial. I was like, what the fuck did you call me? <laughs> what does that even mean? It just means like it's not that serious. It's not that deep. Like it's like it's nothing. It's not even a big. They're like it's not even a big cut. Like it ain't that deep. And I was like, all I right. Mean, the pool of blood he left on the court was the other one, bro. I know. Like when I first saw it, I was like, I was gushing. I was like, God damn. But, bro, I was so like, I'm so indecisive, and they were like, all right, well, you know, you can get stitches here. Or you can go, uh, if you go to the ER, they can have, like, a plastic surgeon stitch you up. And, like, the plastic surgeon does, like, little, like, tricks and things that makes the scar, like, heal up, like, prettier. Like, it'll make your scar, like. Bro, you're literally going to have a matching scar. I know. It's, insane. it's in the exact same place. I know. Bro, let's, look at this. There's one scar. How long have you had that scar? Ten years, maybe like nineteen. Years. And then a scar on the other side in the exact same place. It's insane, bro. The other one you got from basketball too? Yeah. I mean, maybe it may be time for me to hang up the jersey. <laughs> I have to hang it up, bro. Watch out for this guy. Hey man. All right, peace, guys.